yes <laughs> in short yes i would buy this again hi guys hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can tell i'm going to be talking about the ryman p20 sunscreen Woo! This video comes highly requested from Ada and Line Pulse. Thank you guys so much for recommending this to me. I was actually going to film this video in a couple of weeks time, but you guys have been pressing me for this sunscreen. So I figured I would film this video early and just insert this video before some of my other scheduled videos, just in case you watch my next video and you're just like, Alice, this doesn't make any sense. Where does this fit in? Spoiler alert guys, if you cannot tell from how excited I am to be talking about this sunscreen, I love this sunscreen. I think it's absolutely amazing but <sighs> let me not say it all now <laughs> before I keep you guys here any longer let's jump right into the video so I bought the Ryman p20 face sunscreen SPF 30 from boots I paid 20 pounds for it on the boots website this has four out of five stars based on 57 reviews which was good enough for me alongside the two recommendations that I did get from you guys so thank you so much on the website boots say triple protection sunscreen is a highly reliable very water resistant sunscreen that comes in a light cream formula specially designed for for the face. Also ideal for use on the neck, chest and ears. It contains photostable UVA and UVB filters and no added fragrances. P20 face provides UVA protection that far exceeds EU recommendations and is rated 5 out of 5 stars which helps protect against the visible signs of premature skin aging. We love that. In terms of the key benefits, Boots say that this has SPF 30 high protection, five star UVA rating, durable for up to 10 hours from one application. We love that. Highly water resistant, a light cream formula, and this protects against UV induced skin damage and helps you face the sun with confidence. They say that the P20 face on screen can be used under makeup, but you need to let it dry for like 15 minutes before you use makeup. So that is all the information on the Boots website. I'm just gonna read some information on the actual P20 website. So they say Klaus Reimann invented P20 in 1979, inspired by his wish to help a friend with sensitive skin keep protected during the stay in Africa. Today, P20 has been protecting people from the sun for over four decades. And Ryman's mission for P20 remains the same, to provide the protection people need in the sun by producing one of the market's most effective sunscreens available and that is that now guys I'm sure you're ready for me to stop talking so let's get into using and reviewing I've got my notes I was like I'm gonna go off on a tangent if I don't have notes so I've got my notes which I'm going to be reading from and looking down at. okay so in terms of what I like about the sunscreen there are many things that I love about the sunscreen I think the first thing that I love about the sunscreen is that it lasts for up to 10 hours if you're like me you are not that good at remembering to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day it's quite bothersome to reapply all the time if you're wearing makeup quite often like I do it's not the easiest thing to put sunscreen on top of your makeup it can be a whole mess so I really love that this sunscreen does offer up to 10 hours because that's about as long as I'm usually out of the house for this is going to be really great for people who are not good at reapplying sunscreen who are wearing makeup who just don't want to have to keep faffing about with sun care and for people who just want to know that they are protected I also love that this gives the skin a nice natural dewy healthy glow it doesn't give you a crazy glow like the super goop play sunscreen but it does give you a bit of shine a bit of niceness on the boots website someone did say that it was a bit greasy but i haven't found this to be greasy at all i think it just gives a really nice healthy looking glow which i of course really appreciate and then just off the back of that i just love how awesome it makes my skin look on the first day when i used this sunscreen i went out for a walk afterwards and the way my face looked so good i was like wow i've not had a good skin day in at least a month and this sunscreen has made me look amazing spectacular immaculate i was really obsessed with that so i love how nice this sunscreen screen makes my face look I also really love how well this sunscreen wears under makeup like I say I do wear makeup quite a bit so I hate when products peel I hate when things feel really stuffy and thick on my face especially when you know I'm wearing makeup I'm on public transport I'm out and about like I don't like feeling like lots of stuff is on my face so I love how well this does make my makeup just lie on my face which is really good and this leaves my face feeling nice and plump and dewy and 
glorious and delicious like I just really 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 love how this looks on my skin it makes me glow it just evens out my skin tone a lot more I can really feel like it is protecting my face from the sun because it is it is quite thick something that I'll touch on a bit later um, but it is quite thick but not in a disturbingly thick way it's thick in like a protecting way where I know that my skin is being protected and that I'm not gonna have as much UVA UVB like on my face which I really appreciate obviously you guys know sunscreens that don't leave a white cast I instantly love and I love that this sunscreen does not leave a white cast when you're first applying it you kind of feel like it's gonna leave a white cast but it doesn't leave a white cast at all which I really like and it just rubs in really well I'm not worried about pilling or doing too much to my face because this is there's just something so nice and light and beautiful about the finish of the sunscreen in terms of what I dislike to be honest I only have like one thing that I dislike about the sunscreen that kind of splinters off into a couple of other things. Strangely, this is not a super, super, super dislike, which you guys will be very surprised that if you watch any of my skincare videos, you guys know that I hate literally hate with a passion products that just sit on my skin and that don't penetrate and I can feel it throughout the day. Now, this sunscreen does that, but in a weird way, I don't dislike that about this sunscreen, if that makes sense. So I'll massage this sunscreen on my face and it will literally sit on my face for the whole day, I kid you not. So I will put this on about, let's say like 7.30, quarter to eight, and I will still be feeling this at like, 4 p.m., 6 p.m., I can still feel something on my face, which is weird because normally I would really dislike that, but in this sunscreen, I don't mind it. Like, I do quite like it, and I quite like knowing that, oh, okay, the sunscreen is still on my face. It's still protecting me, even though it's been more than, like, three or four hours, I still have sunscreen protection on my face. So I think that is how I know that this sunscreen does actually last for 10 hours because I'm still feeling it on my face 10 hours later. So because the sunscreen does just sit on the face, it does mean that I have to make sure that my skin is adequately hydrated underneath there was a day where i didn't put on as much serum i don't know why but my skin was starting to get a bit dry later on in the day so for me i definitely always have to remember to put on an extra bit of serum just to make sure that my skin is hydrated and moisturized and feeling nice underneath because there is nothing worse than having dry skin at all so i think that's really everything in terms of my likes and my dislikes i did have a couple of other things that i noticed so this really does last all day i think this is the perfect sunscreen like i said for people who suck at reapplying sunscreen <clears throat> alice that's you <laughs> i think it is quite thick this is easy to move around the face but it does feel thick on your face and it's just kind of it almost feels clogging and I think you could say that it feels a bit clogging like a blanket is on your face in terms of the fragrance now I know that the boots website said that there is no fragrance but the first time I used it it had a very horrible sunscreen smell but that smell did fade and I don't really smell it so much anymore so this does have a slight fragrance I would say but just the typical sunscreen fragrance it doesn't smell as bad as the Bondi sound sunscreen god I feel like nothing could ever smell that bad but it does smell kind of a bit like that another thing for me that i've noticed is i have not had a breakout i've not had a rash any kind of reaction to this sunscreen which i love and appreciate so much someone did leave a review on the boots website that this broke them out but for me i have not noticed anything like that and you guys know how easily my face likes to react to random things so i can hand on heart say that this has not broken me out no rash no nothing another thing <laughs> so many things on this list as someone again whose face is quite what's the word sensitive kind of my face is very prone to reacting to all kinds of things it's really important for me personally to make sure that i'm using face products for my face now in terms of the ryman p20 range they have a ton of products and a ton of different versions for different body parts and one of the reasons why it actually took me so long to buy this was because in the shops i couldn't see one that was specific specifically for the face so when you are looking at this or if you are looking into buying it make sure that you get the one that is specifically for the face it says face on it I personally don't know if you can use the other products on your face I'm pretty sure you can but just to be on the safe side make sure that you're using the face version on your face and not the body one now for the most important part of the video would I buy this sunscreen again hmm <laughs> 
yes. <laughs> in short, yes, I would buy this again. I really love this sunscreen. I think I was actually quite surprised about how much I loved this love because I'm currently using the sunscreen. How much I love this sunscreen and I really do recommend this for all of the reasons that I mentioned before. There's no white cast. It goes on your face really easily. You can wear makeup on top. You don't have to reapply. It makes your skin look amazing. It evens out your skin tone. It just like makes you look like you're airbrushed, you look glowy, you look dewy. It's just such an amazing sunscreen and who wants to not have a sunscreen like that? I can see this being my new go-to sunscreen because in a weird way, the sunscreen that it most reminds me of is Nivea Sun UV Face Anti-Age Anti-Pigment Sunscreen. I think because they're both quite small and they're both thick but they glide on really well and they both make me look youthful and nice and my skin looks amazing. The only thing that kind of stops it from really being my go-to go-to is that it's 20 pounds which out of all of the sunscreens that I have this is like it's not the most expensive sunscreen that I've tried this is 20 pounds for 50 grams of product which compared to a lot of my other things that is a bit pricey but you know even with the 20 pound price tag I think I'll just wait for it to be on sale and then bulk buy like three of them because I love this face one so much I am really 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 curious about trying the other versions that they have which they have for the body I think that'll be great for my next holiday when Whatever that will be because not having to reapply your sunscreen for 10 hours is a must in every human being's book. I think that's the one thing that everyone wants. If you have any questions on this sunscreen, make sure you leave them down below. Once again, I want to thank Ada and Line Pulse for recommending this sunscreen and for getting on my back about actually reviewing it. I wasn't going to review it for a bit later, but thank you guys so much for pushing me because this sunscreen is amazing and I really do love it and I cannot recommend it enough. If you have an extra 20 pounds, give this one a whirl. If you are curious about other sunscreens that I like, some sunscreens that I dislike, make sure you check out my sunscreen playlist. That features a bunch of sunscreens that I have been using for the last, I would say like two-ish years on this channel. So make sure you check them out. If you're just curious about other sunscreens that I've tried in general as well, make sure you check out my blog by Alice XO. I'm gonna have that linked down below because I have been writing about sunscreens for many, 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 many years. I'm such a strong sunscreen advocate, so make sure you check out my blog if you are interested in finding out about more sunscreens. Again, links down below. This sunscreen is gonna be linked down below as well if you wanna check that out for yourself. I think that's everything, so thank you guys so much for watching, and in the meantime, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.